Okay, this evening, I got a fire going, I'm not going very good, but I'm going to make that's called. Yeah, then let me show you what it's called. Campfire Apple Crisp. I want to just make half recipe, so I'm going to do about two apples. Third cup oats, three cups brown sugar, but I'll blend half all this stuff. And then uh, you, you mix it all together and then you put it in a, on aluminum foil and uh, put it over a campfire for about 15 to 20 minutes. If it doesn't have a grate, you place the fire pit on the edge furthest from the heat, rotating after 10 minutes. So we're going to chop these apples up, add all the other ingredients, and we'll see how it's going to go. Okay, got all the ingredients in there. Uh, like I said, I, I halved it, but I got uh, uh, half of a third cups, half of three cups of brown sugar. That's a lot of brown sugar. Uh, quarter cup whole wheat flour, half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Eh, maybe a little more. I like cinnamon. Third cup butter and one and a half tablespoons of white sugar. Now we add, in a bowl, add the oats. We did all. Uh, wheat flour and butter. We use white flour. Mix with fork until pieces of butter are evenly dispersed. Then add in the chopped apples. Cinnamon and white sugar mixing together. Take the three long pieces of aluminum foil. Well, we'll do that. We'll get to that when I cut it. But I'm going to do this in the sink so I don't spill anything. I got my apples all chopped up here. I cut the, uh, cut the peels off. I wasn't sure, so I, I took the peels off. So we're going to put them all in here now. And I've washed my hands. Very good. Okay. Put all these apples, chopped apples. I, I went ahead and did two chopped apples. I said three to four on a big one, so I went ahead and did two. But I took the peels off and I didn't do all the core. So now, I stir it all up. I think you put more oats in there so they have that crispy top. I'm gonna find out here. Okay, ooh, that's looking good though. It looks good enough to eat right here. Okay. Get it all stirred up here. So this is a campfire apple crisp. I got the recipe one day and I found it in an RV magazine, so I thought, well, I better make that. See what it tastes like. Okay. Now we get some aluminum foil. Okay. I've got the first piece cut here. I said to cut three. I'm going to do one right here now. Or maybe you put them together so they're, but i got heavy duty, so we're going to pinch the sides up, make it look like a boat. Okay, here's my campfire apple crisp. I'm going to put it out there on the fire now. Okay, there it is. I'm going to fold it all over the top over, like I said, and then I'll put it on the fire. And cook it uh, 15 to 20 minutes. If the fire doesn't have a grate, place it all about we have a grate, so we're going to do it that way. Let's check this out. Look at that. Mmm. Boy, it looks like apple crisp, doesn't it? Mmm. Let it cook a couple more minutes and then we're going to take it off the fire. So, I think I'll taste it. Okay, let's see what it tastes like. Get a little bite here. I had to get my fork. I didn't want to eat off the spoon I'm going to serve it with. Mmm, a little runnier than I thought, but. Mm, look at that. Let's see here. Wow. Sweet. The apples are still a little chunky, crunchy, so I'm going to cook a little longer. But it's good. Good flavor, though. Sweet. Wow. Well, I'm all done. I, I had some. Um, I'm letting it set up a little bit more in the, inside in the fridge. But I think if I do this again, I'm not going to cut it in half. And I'm going to add a little bit more oats, probably a little bit more flour than when it called for it. Maybe it would set up a little bit more. But look at that. 
Does that look good? Yes, very good. Well, thanks for watching.